My name is Simon. I'm uh, the member of uh, the Voloshin family, who uh, actually owns Hasendal Wine Estate. The estate was bought in 1994 by my father, uh, Mark Voloshin. The first wine range was released in 1997. And the idea was that we'll have an estate range as well as an entry level, easy drinking and a more accessible range. So already in 1997, when the entry level range uh, was launched, it was actually called Kleiner Hasen. And um, the idea came from a story that there were hares found roaming around the vineyards. And the wine was called Kleiner Hasen because the Kleiner Hasen is a play on the name Hasendal, which means the valley of the rabbits. And then the Kleiner Hasen is basically the little hare. So we met with White Space and we told them that we have this range and we really need to think to um, do something with it. And we actually thought that we need to take this leap of faith and just get rid of it. It doesn't matter, it's been around for 20 years, but you know, enough is enough. Let's think of something else. But then he was Sean and Tanya, and they were telling us, well, we think actually you should keep it, but we're gonna make it extraordinary. I am Sean, I'm the creative director of White Space Creative. Um, Together with Nini, we have created this uh, character called Christoffel Hasenwinkel, who is actually a fictitious character in this shoot, but he actually was a real person. He was the first owner of Hasendal. Um, we don't have any reference of what this chap looked like. All we know is he was a friend of Simon van der Stel's or an acquaintance of his whom got, who got this piece of land um, and had the first title deed under the name Christoffel Hasenwinkel. The head has been made by the creature shop um, to, re to represent the types of rabbits that were on the farm at the time. So that's the idea of this character. So Christoffel is obviously half man, half rabbit. Well, he's not really a rabbit, he's actually a hare, a cape hare, I don't know. I don't know what the biological thing. So he's he's quite an eccentric character. He's um, he obviously has he owns a very important piece of real estate. Uh, creates fabulous wines on this real estate. So he has a very serious and austere, almost snobby side to him when it comes to serious reds and special wines. But he's also the kind of character who can have a lot of fun. He's very flamboyant. Maybe when he's had too much of his good wine, he gets stuck into the cheaper stuff and has a real party. So he, he's the kind of character that can be very austere and proper um, at most, for most of the time when he's showing off. Uh, and when he relaxes, he becomes a bit of a wild child. And that's kind of, we want to show both sides of that personality. Um, hi, I'm Mark Cameron, I'm a photographer, and um, we've got um, wine labels that we're shooting for, for, for Hasendal Wine Estate. Technically, lighting, you know, hair, there's, there's no skin in, in our picture, and competing beauty and, and basically human beings. So it's been quite a different thing to shoot, in a sense that we've got this human hair, or rabbit. Um, Movements are quite restricted in a sense. You can't see um, our character. So in a lot of direction, but as he's got into it, he's also sort of become quite accustomed to, to kind of sense where he needs to go and what he needs to do. So yeah, and Casey's been amazing. He's uh, been a great character to, to actually become the Christoffel Hasenbunkel.
Thank you.